Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 10 things poor people do that rich people don't. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. The majority of people wish to have more capital. Many of us who are involved in self-improvement want to hear, what makes wealthy people rich? How can I get some of that for myself? Says the narrator. As a result, we have a better understanding of the behaviors of the wealthy. And one of the first lessons you understand about the habits of the wealthy versus the habits of the poor is that there are many things most poor people do that most rich people really don't. Number one, poor people watch TV. Rich people take a walk. All truly great thoughts are conceived while walking. Friedrich Nietzsche when a poor person has to relax, he or she collapses on the sofa and watches Netflix. They may even play computer games. They may even be scrolling via social media. They slump onto the closest cushioned seat, and cause themselves to be stimulated by an electronic gadget. The wealthy, on the other hand, may not. When good people need to distress, they go for a stroll. Alternatively, they can listen to relaxing music while writing in their journal. They want a mental task that is genuinely restorative rather than one that is simply distracting. Number 2. Poor people watch YouTube. Rich people read non-fiction. I find television very educating. Every time somebody turns on the set, I go into the other room and read a book. Groucho Marx when poor people want to learn more about the environment, they go to YouTube and watch short videos. They are scrolling through Facebook accounts. They are Reddit users. They look for the simplest, easiest to understand source possible. These sources aren't really reliable. Frequently, they aren't even right. As a consequence, rather than knowing about our fascinating and diverse world, they are simply reinforcing their ignorance. They believe they are trained, but they are simply pawns in the hands of those who exploit intelligence. Non-fiction books are what rich people read because they try to discover something new. Rather than defaulting to whatever is easier to ingest, they seek out the most authoritative source. They go to great lengths to comprehend the whole frame. Then, when people with false news and social media messages want to persuade them with superficial garbage, all they do is laugh. They are now aware of the situation. Number 3. Poor people wake up whenever. Rich people have morning routines. Morning is an important time of day, because how you spend your morning can often tell you what kind of day you are going to have. Daniel Handler When poor people wake up in the morning, they do the first thing that comes to mind. They usually search their phones. And, after a half hour to an hour of browsing through their tablet, they get out of bed to eat, watch TV, and maybe text some friends. This is something that only the wealthy do. They realize that if you plan your morning correctly, you can do more in two hours than most people can in a day. As a result, they have developed a morning routine. It makes no difference if you do. Everyone's situation is special. Many wealthy individuals head to the gym at 5 a.m., and most go for a morning stroll at 10 a.m. Their morning rituals all have one thing in common. They use their normal patterns to help them achieve success. Number 4. Poor people think in terms of hours worked. Rich people think in terms of value produced. The money you make is a symbol of the value you create. Ado Kienekan, wealth for all when you ask a disadvantaged person how effective they were today, they would respond in terms of hours working. Today, I played for seven hours at work. I worked on this idea for three hours. Today I spent about two hours cleaning the house. When you ask a wealthy individual whether they were profitable today, they would respond in terms of added value. Today I sent a finished product. I've done a thorough cleaning of the whole house. This is because poor people are paying by the number of hours they serve, and wealthy people are compensated by the amount of profit they add. Poor workers are working on an hourly basis. Salaries are paid to the wealthy. The wealthiest individuals receive shares, and are compensated depending on the success or loss of a business enterprise. The more money you make, the less important your working hours become. Number 5. Poor people think their bodies are a distraction. Rich people think their bodies are a tool. Those who think they have not time for bodily exercise will sooner, or later have to find time for illness. Edward Stanley Poor people regard their bodies as though they were an afterthought of their lives. They eat fast food because it is inexpensive to purchase and consume. They're attempting to return to their previous activities. They still don't work out because it is time-consuming. They believe that their time will be best spent elsewhere. 
rich people recognize that their bodies are their most valuable asset. If their body isn't functioning well, the remainder of their life will be as well. Rather than seeing their bodies like an afterthought, wealthy people regard him as a top priority. They cook and consume nutritious foods. They go to the gym on a daily basis, even though there seems to be little opportunity during the day. Number 6. Poor people cram the day before things are due. Rich people do a little work every day. If you had started doing anything two weeks ago, by today you would have been two weeks better at it. John Mayer poor people respond to work in a reactive manner. They pack everything they need to do into the days leading up to the deadline. They prep for an exam before the last minute, and send job items to their supervisor on the day their boss needs them, no sooner. They are always adjusting to the deadlines that life places on them. Rich people don't respond to their surroundings, instead, they monitor them. When they have a project due next week, they work on it a little every day. When they need to prep for an exam, they start learning on a daily basis as soon as they learn about it. When their supervisor requests a job product, they produce it ahead of schedule. In essence, poor people believe that achievement is the product of exceptional effort, while rich people understand that success is the result of constant effort, day after day. Number 7. Poor people don't control their money. Rich people do. Balancing your money is the key to having enough. Elizabeth Warren Amelia Warren Tyagi N.V. Elizabeth Warren is a senator from Massachusetts. Tyagan, Amelia Warren poor citizens have no control of their finances. They lack a financial mechanism that identifies when and where all of their funds are spent. They may have a vague understanding of how long, and on what they invest, but they are just wondering and responding. Rich people have complete power of their finances. They have a digital or analog dashboard where they can see, where any of their money is at any given time. They deposit money into their savings and spending accounts as soon as they are paid. They pay their bills well in advance of the due date. Rich people aren't all wealthy due to chance or situation. They became wealthy because, although they were poor, they were able to direct, where their money went rather than allowing life to decide their terms. Number 8. Always playing the blame game taking complete accountability is a quality that disadvantaged people lack. They are fast to blame their problems on the government, their parents, or village people. Yet, by churning responsibility masters jobs, they can turn down the opportunity to make a difference in their lives. Number 9. Lack of effective time management. The only difference between a wealthy person and a poor person is how they spend their time, says Robert Kiyosaki, a well-known author and financial teacher. The weak are victims of the passage of time. When he looks back in his old age, he knows he wasted his life. Since the wealthy recognize the value of time control, they safeguard and prioritize their time by paying someone to do less important tasks. Number 10. No birth control kids need good education, decent clothing, shelter and access to quality healthcare. These require a lot of money. The irony is that while many poor people give birth without restraint, the rich are the ones who pay attention to having fewer kids. That is how poor people continue to recycle a generation of poverty. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.